Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I'm going to be reviewing the Chalice Glass. <laughs> no, I'm going to be reviewing this uh, wonderful six pack we got going on here. We got a 9% ABV Dark, we got an 11% uh, ABV Golden, and we got a 7% ABV Red. We are talking about the Bière du Bocanier. Uh, Bocanier, something like that. Definitely from Belgium. This is fourteen dollars and thirty cents, which is quite exceptional in compare it, uh, when you compare it to the other box of products of Belgium, which was what eighteen ninety five. Um, except this one, I'll tell you in a sec. The only difference between that one and this one is that has a full selection of six brand new beers. This one only has two of each. I am backwards here. Two of each of the flavor uh, types of beer. Okay? I'll save that one for last because it's my favorite. So today, we put putting this back as well. Let's see? Doubles. Um, so today, I'm going to be reviewing the magnificent 11% ABV Golden Ale by the Buccaneer uh, Brewery here considers itself to be a traditional beer. We got a Bière du Buccaneer uh, uh, cap. A long time ago, when I was uh, when I was going through LCBO, I saw the uh, the red, just the single red, just sitting on the shelf. So uh, I was I was able to do a review of it back then. I I was lucky to have found that because it was unbelievable. Uh, what do we got going on here? Jeez, how can I be forgetting? My uh, my beer opener all over again. That's why somebody took it. All right. So let's uh, open this beer. This should definitely be, be drank uh, out of a, a goblet or a chalice, like uh, like so. Uh, this will give you the full on flavor of uh, this type of beer. Um, it's a 330 milliliter bottle. I believe that's all I missed it. Uh, I missed it. I believe that's all I missed. It says to recycle and it says not to drink while pregnant. <laughs> Alright, so uh, nice pop. Whoa! Oh, what a catch! Oh, jeez. I saved the day. Oh, shit. Okay, so obviously we have an explosive head here. Um, I was expecting it. Actually, sorry, I wasn't expecting it. I would have been lying if I would have told you that. But the thought crossed my mind as soon as I opened up the cap. Just got a little tiny bit of a mess here. Not a big deal. Uh, we have a very, very carbonated beer, as you can tell by looking at the bubbles within. They're literally just exploding at the top. We got a freaking three-finger head here. White head. Uh, it's kind of like a, uh, a light golden looking color and yeah this is incredibly carbonated um, this is gonna be you know fermented fermented uh, style beer here and the head is just so strong that it is it hasn't dissipated slightly whatsoever shut up all right so geez I really wish there was less head here all right, so I'm going to drink what's in the bottle. All you're getting is a very sweet, pungent aroma, uh, very strong fermented aroma. It smells delicious. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Well, that was the ending of the bottle. There goes the harsh part, right? I got goosebumps all over me right now just from taking that sip. Look at this. Can't do anything about it. Wow. 
All right, well, I'm going to try to stick my nose in this, and hopefully, uh, you know, I don't have too much of a Belgian dip. Nope. Now, out of all these beers, I selected this one first because it is the least flavorful. It's one of those type of uh, fermented beers where you really do just get a great majority of carbonation <laughs> rather than a large amount of taste. Um, you know, it's obviously complemented by the, the sweetness. Um, sorry, the sweetness of the beer obviously complements it. You're not getting any any fruitiness uh, out of it. You're getting a little bit of citrus. Um, every sip is carbonation. Every sip, whether you whether you whether you sip it or whether you gulp it. So there really isn't too much that I can say about that. Other than that, it's not bad. Definitely the best beer out of this whole pack is going to be the uh, the dark, um, perfectly well-rounded beer. Uh, as you could tell earlier, when I took a sip from the bottle near the ending of the bottle, um, I got a huge, you know, a large, uh, boozy uh, taste in my alcohol, uh, and that's why I kind of got goosebumps and I got the shivers there. But this doesn't taste like an 11% alcohol ABV whatsoever. You would swear you were drinking a 6% ABV brew if you were to be going at this. So, that's one thing uh, Bière de Buccaneer has done very well, and that is mask their alcohol, uh, alcoholic taste in their beers. Other than that, it's not that great. It's good, but it's not bad. It's, uh pretty well around average, but it's definitely going to get some bonus points for me for being such a high alcohol content brew without the uh, consequences. That's that, people. Just gets sweeter and sweeter and more and more bitter as you go down. And it also increases in alcohol content. So uh, that's all I got for you for now, people. Uh, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. I know I got another one of these nappy freaking, uh, uh, hairy chest wife beater shirts on, but that's not, that's besides the point, people. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me again. I'm going to give this a 2.9 uh, out of 5, uh, because it is still a fermented beer, and I freaking love them. That's the best I can give you for now. Look at that head. You definitely got some mad points for retaining that head, too, that's for sure. And the carbonation underneath has not changed whatsoever. That's that, people. Thanks for joining me. Another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers, people.